Sometimes all the beakers, liquids, and periodical tables can make chemistry seem like such a bore. But reporter Jeff Merrill shows us how BYU is encouraging kids to put on their lab coats and goggles and enjoy learning a thing or two about science. When you throw out words like nitrogen, carbon, and oxygen, you're bound to have some yawns. But use those elements to blow something up? Now they're listening. I like to see the shouts and cheers of excitement as we blow things up. That's really fun. I like to see kids get excited about science. Schools around the country celebrate Chemistry Week. But here at BYU, they like to take the wonders of science to the whole community. That's why every year they put on chemistry magic shows just like this one. Little kids, parents, and everyone in between come to learn about what makes science so magical. And some are absolutely enchanted. Help people understand that science really is cool. This is Dr. Price's second year teaching at BYU, and he says putting on these shows gives him an experience he just can't get with his students. It's fun. We get a different crowd here than we get in our classes. It's a thing we can do to serve the community. To celebrate National Chemistry Week, they tried a whole array of experiments, some of them pretty complex and some of them elementary. The Chemistry Magic Show has a little of everything for the mystery lover in all of us. Like how to make a liquid change its color. How to turn a bouncy ball into a million pieces. I shattered the bouncy ball. Even how to make nylon magically or scientifically appear. Whoa, it just keeps on going. My favorite is the flaming ping pong ball of death, probably just because of its name. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this ping pong ball into the liquid oxygen, get it nice and soaked, okay. and then we'll actually try to light it off and see what happens. But unlike most magicians, Dr. Price is here to reveal his secrets. National Chemistry Week is about letting people know that chemistry is a good thing. We're surrounded by chemicals, they're not bad. Um, also that, that science and chemistry can make a real difference in the world. And, and not only are they fun, but they en enrich our lives. All that's left after the show are pieces of balloon covering the floor and hopefully for the kids, an interest in science. We hope that inspires some kids to be scientists. We need a lot more of those. So. The shows run every year, all week, usually in the third week of October. No ticket necessary, just sit back, relax, and watch the magic go out with a bang. Jeff Merrill, BYU Weekly.